welcome back for another tutorial with me, You Were a Monkey. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to decorate this bedroom that you see right here. So if you like what you see, make sure to stick around and smash that like and subscribe button. Let's get started, shall we? So we're gonna start off in the left corner here with a large storage box. We're gonna place it so that it's just barely touching both walls on each side. And then we're gonna grab two tables and we'll place them just like this. And then we will grab this small box and place it in front. We're gonna slide it in as much as we possibly can and then it will be covered up with sleeping bags. Now we'll grab those sleeping bags that I was just talking about. We'll place four of them. So we'll place two and then we'll slide it down so that it looks like it's a fluffy blanket. And then we'll place another two on the other side. Hey, have you subscribed yet? Psst, click that button. Now we'll place our beds. We're gonna have them so that they're just barely touching the boxes there. And we'll have them so that they're slightly overlapping, not too much, but just a little bit so that it's the same width as the three boxes. And now we'll grab benches and we'll place them as straight as possible. There's gonna be a little gap up by the box, but that's okay. We want that there so that we can still access the bed and lay in it if we need to. And this last one, we're just gonna overlap it just slightly on the edge there, but it still looks okay. Now we're gonna grab our artifact pedestals and we're gonna place them just so that the edge is just sticking out and then we can overlap these so that we don't have the line and it will look like a really nice uh, foot of the bed. Ta-da! Now we can place a large crop pot with a medium crop pot inside and we'll put some seeds in it in a little bit. And we'll come back over to the bed and we're going to place some metal wall signs so they look like pillows. And next we'll go over to the other corner here. We're gonna place a couple of bookshelves and we'll place down some benches and some rugs to have a little reading area. So we'll place three benches in an L shape here and then we'll place a rug inside of it. While we're here, we're gonna switch this one to a greenhouse wall because it really looks better with the greenhouse wall there so that we can look out while we're sitting reading a book. And now we're gonna place our crop plots, medium size all the way across so that we have places to put all of our boxes and fun stuff for decorating. So of course, I'm going to place some of the small storage boxes and they'll go all the way across in a zigzag pattern and then I'm just going to throw in some artifact pedestals and vessels and fishing baskets and whatnot. So you can just keep on watching. Oh, and don't place that vessel there. It's gonna get moved. Man, I love these glowing purple artifacts. They're so cool. And place another artifact stand over here and it's gonna have a different purple artifact in it. If you haven't guessed it already, the bedroom is going to be purple. Told you it was gonna get moved. <laughs> Woohoo! Now our plant shelf is done. Now we're going to grab some canvases and we'll place them just like this. And 
gonna now grab two training dummies and we're gonna place them just slightly angled towards each other and they'll paint up real nice. Now we can hop out to the balcony. We'll start by placing a table in each of the corners and then we will add chairs and small crop plots and later on after everything's all decorated I will throw in some feather lights sitting on the tables because it looks really nice at night time with them on there. And we'll place our shag rugs just like this. They will overlap a little bit but that's okay because they're going to be all the same color. And now we'll throw on our little crop plots and put on two of them and we'll twist the top one so it has a little more dimension. It'll look like one of those fancy planters. And I've made a creative decision to change this wall up slightly. We're gonna add a couple of more canvases up top and then we're going to take out the center canvas and replace it with a trophy mount and then put one of the cool looking shields on it. And while I'm here, I'm going to paint these with royalty. We'll pop in the tech light in behind the shield so it gives it a little bit of extra light. We'll turn it down to low so it doesn't blind us when we come into the bedroom. But look at that shield, it looks so good. And now we're gonna go around to all the purple canvases and we're gonna add two tech lights to each one. We're gonna place one and then when we're gonna place the second one, we're gonna spin it slightly just so that the edges just stick out. Okay, so now in behind the bed on the stone walls, we're going to place mirrors. We're gonna sort of tuck it in so that you can see the little, uh, the metal parts on the mirrors. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna continue it along the stone wall and it'll look a little bit like fancy wood paneling. And that is it for the bedroom tutorial. When you're all finished, you should have something that's similar to this. It might be a different color, but this is what it should look like. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to click that like and subscribe button and stay tuned because there will be a whole bunch more tutorial videos coming out. I'll have the greenhouse, the workshop, the outdoor decor. There's a whole bunch coming, so make sure to stay tuned. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.